Hello and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing the playtest to Pig Face Massacre, and if you'd like to play it for yourselves, you'll find the links and the details down below in the description, alright? This is going to be a first person survival horror game where I'm going to be playing as a thrill seeking youngster investigating an area deemed as cursed and haunted by the locals. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, but leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way, alright? Let's begin the playtest to Pig Face Massacre on solo mode and chapter 1. Hey, it's me. We're heading down the rim water. So, you must know the stories, right? They... they say it's haunted or something like that. I know that the place is abandoned like eight, nine years, but I don't give a fuck. It doesn't scare me at all. So, I think we're close. Huh. They opened the gates for me. Thanks. <laughs> Lucky you. Look at all those lights. This place must be draining all the electricity. So dark. Should I go there? Oh. Well, to answer that question, no, I don't think you should. Did you just get hit on the back of the head? Oh boy. Alright, but here we are. Okay, so interact, flashlight, I've got an inventory as well. In the top right, by the looks of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, nothing in my inventory, as it stands. Jeez Louise, right. Yeah, coming here was a terrible mistake. I think I've just realised. Oh, there's someone lying down there too. Right, let's see. Uh, can't go through there? Oh, it's a one-way door. Hmm, okay. What we got here? Two... Okay. Oh! Looks like there's something on the other side. Can we go through? Ah! Alright. What's this? Don't forget the key! Okay, something for something. What was it? Two... Is it 247? 247? <laughs> Could be. Ah, this, I think, is what I saw through the wall. Ah, okay. So maybe that's the combination. Let's have a look. 24-7. Alright. Okay. And inside, we find a key. So that's our first inventory item. Wonderful. Alright. So there's nothing actually down there. Let's see. Uh, so... I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe this one? Okay, so I don't have to dig into my inventory, drag it out. It's all automatic. And we're through. Alright. So, yeah... Man, yeah, this is dark. And it looks like the lights are going to give out any second. Through here? Okay. Right. Through here? Whoa! Oh boy. The hell was that? Is that me, breathing heavily? Hmm. Right, that's locked. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh boy. Right, the man they call Pigface might be around here. Okay. What? How was that? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Um, I think I just stood in a bear trap, but thankfully I I pulled myself out of it pretty quick. Right. Can we? Uh, no, we can't go through there. We can't get the mattress out of the way. Right. So there's another trap down there. I need to really pay attention to the environment around me. I think. Okay. Is that a fuse? <laughs> It's a horror game, all right. Here we go, all right. We're looking for two more fuses. Right, and that's going to be, what, for the elevator? Phone doesn't work? No, right. Yeah, as the guy said, this area, Rimwater, has been abandoned for eight or nine years. I think sometime in the 80s there was a fire, and uh, ever since then, mysterious events have occurred, forcing people to leave. And, uh, well, I think I'm discovering exactly why people left. Right, okay. This way then? Left or right? Let's go left. Remarkably it works, okay. Yeah, I do like the way this looks. Let's see, what's this? Little boy went missing after fire. Uh, a great fire that happened in a collective housing area outside of Rimwater. A leave up with massive catastrophe. <laughs> after death of his parents, 
uh, Ma something P, little boy something, went missing. His body could not be found at the scene. The authorities are still searching the area, while some others say his body is burned in the place. Right, okay. So I think as we're trying to escape, we're also trying to piece together the mystery. What actually happened here? Who Pigface really is? Okay. Right, let's see. Okay, looks like we've got a couple of lockers here. Do I hide in these? Hey, oh. oh. Okay. Looks like there's actually something through the wall over there. Interesting, but right. I can go in, and I can... Yeah, I can shut the door, so... I don't think we'll be fighting Pigface. I think we'll be running away from him. Nothing else? No? No fuses? So that's locked. Hmm. Alright. Okay, well, um, let's move on. Let's try this one over here, shall we? Okay, that's locked. Uh, this way then, yeah? Ooh. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can get through there, but I do see a trap on the floor. So I probably can at some point. Maybe I need to find a crowbar, sledgehammer, break these boards. Right. There's another trap there. there. Oh, oh shit. There he is! Wielding his, uh, his chainsaw. I don't think he saw me, thankfully. Right, let's see. Locked? Locked, okay. Bloody hell, can I get a more powerful flashlight? Oh, this is another one of these doors. Another one-way door? Right. He can come through, but I can't go after him. Uh, we might have the same issue here. Right, okay. Well, this way? Oh, good. Hey, this looks fairly well lit. <laughs> I can actually see what I'm doing. Is there a fuse around here? Let's see. Is that locked? It... okay. Oh, this... Oh, ah, oh, shit, this is where I started, but okay. So there's a shortcut at least one way. Right, okay, I want to get back to that area without running into any traps, ideally. So, this way? Around the corner, there we go. So is he, like, roaming around now? I don't know. Let's hope he's still through that door to the left. Okay. Alright, so forget about that door. We're gonna go this way. Alright. What's this? Uh, okay, hang on. It's probably easier to see if I don't pick it up, actually. Looks like it's upside down. Order... So it's like XN0 less than? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Wait, is this the door that he came through? Shit. It is. He might be through there. He might be somewhere nearby. Let's get this open just in case, you know? So... X... N... Zero... Okay. What did that do? What's that connected to exactly? What did I... <laughs> what did I achieve? Did I unlock the door? Okay. Looks like, oh, she, okay, all right. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, there may have been something on, but not anymore. Bloody hell, right, okay. Yeah, maybe I need to find the fuses around the areas that seem to have power in this place. So, there might be a fuse here somewhere. It looks like we've got another something over here. Shocking death at Rimwater, right. On the third anniversary of the massive fire event that caused the family to lose their lives, another devastating death happened at a collective housing area in Rimwater. Stephen Longyard, who's a resident of Rimwater for seven years, lost his life due to falling five blocks high. Not five levels? Five blocks. Five entire blocks. Holy moly. Uh, because of the accident that happened in the elevator shaft which I think is where I'm trying to go. Uh, while Rimwater Housing Authority say the elevator shaft has blah 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 blah. Right. Five blocks. That's insane. To be honest, I think these newspaper clippings could do with uh, a bit of a rework. <laughs> Little spelling and grammatical errors here and there. All right. Oh, I'm on the other side now, aren't I? Okay. I think I hear... The guy... Oh, I see him! I see him! Oh, shit. Run, 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 run. This way? Nope. This way. Oh, 
boy. Right, okay. Here we are, back at the elevator. Yes, unfortunately I haven't found any fuses yet, but right. I found him. Okay. Uh, so... Let's see. Ooh. I guess he's gonna be following me now, isn't he? What's the bet that he can open one-way doors from the other side? Pretty fucking likely, right? Alright. I gotta say, so far, so good. Aside from a few, you know, spelling and grammatical errors and stuff like that. A few little nitpicks here and there. I quite like this. I think this could be a good game. Alright. Here we are again. Whoa! Bloody hell, right. Close the door. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. What? Oh god. Is he... He just sliced through the door with a chainsaw. That's pretty cool, actually. Right, I'm gonna hide in here. Okay. So, I think I need to go where I saw him. Oh, boy. Oh. Just for a second, I thought he was gonna be opening the door. Like, the door to this locker. Right, get out. Go, go, go. Right, yeah, yeah. I think I need to go this way around to the right. Okay. Oh, we've got stairs. Right. Well, it looks like we can't go up. Let's go down. Man, I can barely see. What the? Oh, it's flooded down here? Right. Okay. Right. Close the door. Close the door. That's locked. That's a dead end. Okay. We're going this way. We're going this way and hoping we're going to find either a way out or a fuse. Another one-way door. There's quite a few one-way doors around here. Oh. Okay. Right, okay, hang on. Can I get this open? Right, right. Someone's moving through the water, and it's not me. Right, he's down here with me. It seems like he walks fairly slowly and calmly, but then he's got a chainsaw. He doesn't really have anything to worry about, does he? I don't hear anything anymore. Maybe he's out of earshot. Maybe he's not on this floor. Right. He's quite a heavy chap, by the looks of it. Because when he's nearby, it seems that the screen rumbles. Right. It doesn't sound like he's in water anymore. He might be above me? Or even further below me, possibly? I don't know. I don't know if he's right here, right now. Let's put it that way. Okay. What's this? A red, a, a red room key. Okay. Somewhere else to hide. Okay. In here as well. Alright. Through here. No, that's locked and I guess that isn't the red room. Okay. What about this one? Ah, hang on. Oh. I hear him. I think he, I think he's maybe upstairs. Presumably he's not down there. <laughs> No, you can't go down there. Right, so... I've got a red room key. Do I have to go back on myself, then? Right, we've got to retry these doors. Oh boy, okay. This way? Okay, just <laughs> kicking the bits of the door out of the way. Right. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. I think he's over to the left, so I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through here. Alright? Good stuff. Good stuff. So, right, all these locked doors. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, one over here. Aha! Here we are! The red room key! Right, wonderful, wonderful. Close that up. Not that it's gonna help me too much. Hey, oh, look at this! Okay, I picked up a valve. And there's the third fuse. Alright, looks like there's maybe a couple more places to hide as well. But aside from that, yeah, it's a bit of a dead end, isn't it? Oh shit, he's on his way. Right. Okay. Has this guy never heard of handles? He can open a door without destroying it, you know. Oh shit! Whoa, oh boy! Breaking free, breaking free! Trying! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Shit! Okay, run, 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 run! Oh my goodness, I, I don't know what my health situation is, but it can't be good. He's, he's held me up and I think used the chainsaw on me a couple of times now. Holy moly, right. Go, go, go. I've got some stamina issues as well by the looks of it. Oh, Right. At this point, I'm quite grateful that he's he's pretty heavy set. Oh, shit! Doesn't mean he can't run when he wants to, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Right, this way, this way, this way. Um, I know where to use the, the fuse. The valve, the valve, presumably, is going to be downstairs, right? Close that up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's little bits and pieces missing from this, but so far, I am quite enjoying this. I think I've played the full version of this. Surely it goes here. Yes, okay. Give it a twist. Come on. Ah, it's drained the water, which is a good and a bad thing. Now I can't hear him splashing on the way to kill me. But let's see. Down here? Down another level. Right. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, there's 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 no locker in here. Oh bloody hell. I don't know if he's above me or if he's on this level. He sounds close though. Shit. I've got two fuses. That's all I need to use the elevator, right? I just need to get back to the elevator. Come on, come on. I can do this, I can do this. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I was like, what was that I can see? Right, hang on. He's gonna have to cut through this, isn't he? He has no idea how to use a handle. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, third time's the charm. I broke free, I broke free! You can break free quite a lot, it seems. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to make it out of his grip again. I think I've abused my Iki all that I can. I think the next time might be the last. <laughs> I can't stop but kick all these door pieces. Right, it's not too far to go. Not too far to go at all. Right, open the door. Okay, let's just put in the fuses. Really quick. There we go. Right. What do we do? I need the fuse box key to- Oh shit! Okay, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. The fuse box key. Where's the fuse box key? Didn't I see something else in this room down here before I was strangled? I didn't get the chance to pick it up. Is that it? Oh man, okay, okay, okay. Fuse box key. Oh. There you go, that's it. I can barely see it to be honest, but there you go. I've got the fuse box key. Fantastic, right. Oh, no, that's not fantastic. Right, I'm gonna hide in this one this time. Yeah. So... Yeah. Probably should have died. Very lucky to be alive right now. I'm very close to the elevator. If I can just get there, use the key. Hopefully it's going to work. Hopefully I can hop in. Go up or down. Just get out of this area. Oh, come on. Ooh. Shit. Is he coming this way? Oh, man. Oh, shit! Oh, come on, man! Come on! Right. I'm gonna go this way. Oh! You had to see me there, didn't you? You had to bloody see me there! Okay. Oh, no! Not now! Not now! <laughs> I'm falling into every trap! Right. Okay, he's gonna have to chop through that, so that's gonna give me some time, right? So now we're gonna go the long way around. Get back to the elevator, use the key. And we should be home free. I think. He hasn't turned back on himself, has he? Right. Use the fuse box key. It's open, alright. Let's see. Up or down? Where are we going? Well, whether we went up or we went down, it looks like chapter one is complete, as is the playtest to Pig Face Massacre. We escaped by the skin of our teeth there, barely escaping with our lives, but we did escape. 
Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, alright? It would mean the world to me. Overall, I thought that was quite a lot of fun. A pretty enjoyable experience, despite it being quite bare bones. As I said before, there's bits and pieces missing or that need addressing, need tweaks here and there, like the newspaper articles, spelling and grammatical mistakes. I think the flashlight is a little bit too dim. If that was brighter, that would improve things. Uh, maybe some clearer audio here and there and a few more options in the options menu, but yeah. Like, fundamentally, this seems pretty good. It seems like a solid start, and I want to play some more. And as you probably saw at the beginning in the menu, there will be an option for co-op. So I think you can bring along three of your friends and see if you can beat Pigface together. That could be a fun experience. So yeah, I'll keep my eye on this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Huh. They opened the gates for me. Thanks. <laughs> Lucky you. Should I go there? Oh! Right. Through here? Whoa! Is that a fuse? <laughs> it's a horror game, alright! There's another trap there. But, oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, this. Oh! Ah, oh, shit! This is where I started! Looks like, whoa, she, okay, alright. <laughs> Lost his life due to falling five blocks high. I think I hear the guy. Oh, I see him! I see him! Someone's moving through the water and it's not me. You can open a door without destroying it, you know. Oh, shit! Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. Oh! You had to see me there, didn't you? You had to bloody see me there!